Okay, so I'm doing this. Who are you, music or? Pause, okay, pause. Okay. Um, making that new layer. This is the layer one. Get the airbrush and I'm going to zoom in a little bit on here. And I'm going to make this bigger as a see effect. Because, like, I don't need to have, like, Okay, so she has blonde, brown, and pink hair. Um, I would say the best color would be, like, a dark purple. Or, like, some highlights up in here on the brown. Not the... It's not really going to go good with the blonde part because... I'll show you that in a minute. Hold on. Let me get some of this blonde up in here. Of that purple up in here. Anywhere that goes dark, I guess it will work the best, but it doesn't really gonna work on blue, I believe, or gray. My body can't talk. <laughs> it's not gonna really work yeah. on blonde hair because it will be too uh, bright, I guess. Because I already, I already did experiments with the hair color. And I'm guessing purple will look best. So now that you got, you can also add some down here to the part pink. Oh, that pink! Oh my god, I can't talk. And then you go to overlay. See how it's like? If see if it's on the purple, you can't really see it. But if you want to do it that way, it's fine with me. But I'm not so. And what you do is blur it so it looks like natural in it. That's what I always do, anyways. And so if you have like a um, like a different color in there, it's like blending, see how it's all blends and stuff, not really showing on the blonde. And, just play it this way. I'm gonna go up here to filter, hue and saturation, and I'm gonna mess around with this a little bit to see what color I can come up with. We can do pink or purple. I like dark color. So I'm gonna place it right about there. And I'm gonna blur it again. So it's like all really good in there and stuff, blah blah. And then there's that part. If you wanna add a different color for your blonde hair, I'm gonna do like a blue or something probably. It's like that's like really cute, I guess. I don't know. And for this you can just go like this. I'm not going to put it all on the pond because it might not work. Oh, right. So, you can do multiply or this. See what I'm talking about? Well, yeah. So, this is before. I'm going to do multiply. See what happens. And I'm going to blur it a little bit. It's like all right in there and stuff. It's not working so good. It's not coming out good. That's why I like keeping it like a blonde color. Or I can try and add an orange in there and make it like, um, like blonde or something like that. If that works, then we'll do it this way. So, um, let me blur it out. Maybe that would work, but I would have to put this on top of that. So it's like covering it. So let's let's see how this works out a little bit more. And for this you wanna make the brush smaller now that you know it's gonna work. So it's not like covering the purple. Or even mixing in with it because that wouldn't be so pretty. It'd be ugh. I'm gonna lower that 
and just do the blend and it should come out pretty good because it looks good with it. There you go. And if you get like stuff on the face, just run this over it. That's all I do. Um, if you want to make the thick part brighter down here, then try and find a color like that or get the picker. It's called the picker and the thick one. I uh, that thick one and just cover over it and see what happens. Because, I mean, I never really recolored something before like this. And I'm going to color that with that. So, let's see what this does. Yeah. No. I think the dark, like, the darker one is better, because I don't know, really, honestly. But I'm going to, uh, I'm going to keep it like that, so I can add some more over here, and to the hair. Blah, blah, blah. And now I'll put all that in. And, yeah. and like I said, if you get it on the face or anything, like somewhere it's not supposed to be, like such and such, make it smaller and then just clean up the fingers. 